All right, check this out. Companies are actually being warned to stop using the term AI or start trying to dive in themselves. And I'm gonna read this story, very interesting story. And the reason why it's interesting is because this happened in the blockchain space back in 2017, 2018, when crypto, Bitcoin, all of, all of the entire blockchain sector was exploding in value, exploding in prices. What happened was companies started figuring out that if they just changed their name and put the word blockchain in their company name, their stock started spiking. And what was really sad is a lot of these companies had nothing to do with blockchain or cryptocurrencies at all. And this exact same situation is happening right now with OpenAI and the artificial intelligence boom that is happening that started back in November. Here we go. Companies are latching on to the hot new AI trend. The feds are warning they're watching for false claims. It says right here, so many companies are claiming to use artificial intelligence that the Federal Trade Commission has stepped in, warning that it's watching for false promises. Michael Atheson, an attorney for the FTC's Division on Advertising Practices, wrote in a blog post on Monday that AI has become the hot marketing term that some companies won't be able to stop themselves from overusing and abusing that term. Marketers should know that for FTC enforcement purposes, false or unsubstantiated claims about a product's efficiency are our bread and butter. The regulator said, you need, you don't need a machine to predict what the FTC might do when those claims are unsupported. <laughs> you gotta love it. That's that's pretty pretty solid, <laughs> pretty solid advice. Since debuting last year, and when I say last year, the end of last year, ChatGTP has captured public attention for its ability to do anything from write essays to code. The craze has caused an AI arms race between big tech companies like Microsoft and Google. Let me stop right there. You guys remember the other day when Google had its AI running and literally the AI screwed up. <laughs> it did something bad. And all of a sudden, Google stock tanked. I mean, that's a great example of what's going on here. These companies just wanting to be relevant and be out in the open as open AI just ex absolutely explodes and artificial intelligence explodes. They're literally screwing up, but they're racing to get to, uh, to you, the uh, user, the listener. Hopefully they're not abusing you, but that's really what's happening. And this is a really relevant story. It says right here, um, more recently, Snapchat has announced ChatGPT would be incorporated into its app and Meta said it launched a top level team for building AI tools. But it's not just tech giants. News organizations like BuzzFeed and CNET have also begun using AI. Even some retailers have incorporated AI into their marketing and services like Zoom video communications, as well as cybersecurity teams during earnings calls jumped 77% this earnings season compared to a year ago, according to the report from Bloomberg. So check this out. Let me, this, these are terms that are being used, right? In their, uh, their quarterly earnings so that they can get these buzzwords going, trying to get people excited, get their investors excited. This is a ploy. Also, as we're talking about this, you're listening to all these massive companies that are using this in their stuff. That's less and less jobs that are gonna be needed. Please, I warn you, I implore you actually, to go and find a second set of revenue, another revenue stream, a side job, a side business. Get out and do something now because this technology is absolutely going to take so many jobs. I'm not joking, I believe you're gonna see a million jobs lost in the next year, year and a half in America alone from, from open AI or artificial intelligence as a whole, all right? It says, and there's good reason for the dropping the reference. Shares of relatively unknown companies with the term AI in the name have skyrocketed over the past few months, the publication said. It's impossible to quantify what the impact of AI could be and equally possible that a wave of enthusiasm carries stocks with expertise in or exposure to AI, no matter how tenuous, higher and higher. This is this is absolutely wild how fast this is moving. The FTC says the market has been primed for AI hype for decades, alluding to stories like Frankenstein to Pinocchio. While the FTC did not specifically mention any companies that have peddled false AI promises, 
Atheson wrote that the AI hype is playing out today across many products from toys to cars to chatbots and a lot of things in between. That's another thing that's very scary. You have to be very aware of what's coming in with the scammers. Scammers using AI to be able to scam you from, you know, marketing you things on cell, your cell phones, telling you your account's been breached. Remember, you have to be on guard because this AI is becoming so fast. It's so good at learning. It's no longer you're going to be able to say, oh, that's actually a bot or something, someone from another country because they don't even know how to put a plural in the right spot or a singular uh, word in the right spot in the text. So as artificial intelligence gets hard, better and better, the, uh, the text bots that are trying to steal your money from your, through either emails or cell phones are gonna become so convincing it's insane. So you have to be absolutely on guard. Look, to be honest with you, I don't think people take, it, uh, take this very seriously. Uh, Facebook took uh, one year to get to one million users. I think Instagram took like six months. OpenAI uh, did it in five days. This is absolutely mind-blowing and it is going to get bigger. You are not gonna be able to stop it. Like Elon Musk said, AI, it's literally like you have just released the genie out of the bottle and that's it. This is Pandora's box. And this isn't supposed to scare you. It's supposed to get you ready. If you're prepared and you go, yep, yeah, you know what? A lot of jobs are gonna be lost and one of them might be mine and you get ready for it now, you're not gonna have to suffer the pain that others are. But on top of that, you're gonna be ready to take advantage of all the people that didn't pay attention to this. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. I thank you so much for watching. Who's flying over me? I don't know if that was my son or not, just trying to buzz me. Hope you guys have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.